We do have news just in and reports reaching KTN just now indicate that the government has extended the current school term by a week. So that means that schools will no longer close from 9th but 16th. The third term has also been extended by a week to compensate for time lost following the three-week teachers strike that ended last week. Let me just repeat that, that news reaching us is that the government has decided to extend the current school term by a week from August 9th to 16th. The third term has also been extended by a week to compensate for time lost following the three-week teacher strike that ended last week. Remember, this comes as Professor Kaimeni meets uh, stakeholders in the education sector to try and see how best they can make up for time lost during the strike. Let's now have a look at business. And in tandem with the Vision 2030 goal of knowledge-based society, Kenya today launched the National Broadband Strategy. And this will see the country deliver at least five megabytes per second to increase the pace of productivity across the country. Now, currently, Kenya operates on 30 kilometers of fiber optic network countrywide, and the national strategy will henceforth ride on penetration of access through national coordination of complementary infrastructure to pave way for expansion of broadband. Kenya is currently using only a third of its broadband capacity. The national broadband strategy launched uh, attended by dignitaries included the u.s envoy to kenya was officiated by cabinet secretary Anne waigoro on behalf of deputy president william ruto in light of our long cooperation and in the importance of this sector we welcome the opportunity to provide 26 million shillings to support the cck and its work to develop the national broadband strategy the number of internet users in Kenya is now about 16.2 million, with the international bandwidth being just slightly 900,000 megabits per second. We hope that we'll deepen uh, digital literacy. Uh, first of all, in the public sector, I must say. And then secondly, we'll build credible and useful synergies with our partners so that we can uh, uh, move this uh, forward. As spelled out in the National Broadband Strategy, it is our aim to increase the ICT budget allocation from 0.5% of the total budget to at least 5% in the coming years. We are a bit dismayed with the underutilization of the Kenya Shillings 5 billion public funded national optic fiber backbone. The county of Mombasa is pitching for port operations to be placed under its management. According to Governor Ali Hassan Joho, this will bring back the glory and efficiency envisaged in port management. Joho's sentiments were echoed by Mombasa Senator Hassan Omar. The two spoke at the launch ceremony of the Mombasa County Police Patrol cars on Monday. Mombasa. <laughs> Mimi na ndugu yangu Joho tumeshirikiana twasema kwamba uhuru Kinyata aliahidi kwamba all functions of devolution will be devolved immediately sio sasa twamwambia basi arudishe port ya Mombasa with immediate effect Mombasa must benefit the residents of Mombasa county and therefore it should be brought back to us those are the kind of messages that i want to hear The World Football Governing Body FIFA has lifted the suspension on the Cameroon Football Association after the conditions given to them on June 22nd were met. Now some of the conditions were sitting up uh, to norm was setting up rather a normalization committee which has since been in operation and that is from yesterday. The lifting of the suspension means that the Cameroonian Football Association officials, clubs and other representatives can now immediately resume their activities which had been interrupted. The same applies for the resumption of the courses and various programs including taking part in competitions organized by FIFA, CAF and other member associations. Now, meanwhile, players and officials of clubs involved in two Nigerian promotion playoff games that ended 79-0 and 67-0 have been banned for life. The four clubs have been banned from the game for 10 years. The Nigerian Football Federation Committee recommended that match officials involved in the two matches should be given life bans. Plateau United feeders and police machine went into the matches level on points with promotion to take the lowest tier of the nationwide league division as stake.